very important person that I had the pleasure of meeting a couple of years ago. Jeff has become a friend, and I'd like to introduce you to a very brave individual who's been speaking out about his personal battle with the disease. So please welcome my good friend, Jeff Borgoff. Thank you. Um, thank you, uh, everyone, for, uh, for allowing me to um, speak today. Thank you to the Greater New Jersey chapter uh, for this honor. Um, it truly is an honor. And <clears throat> I uh, want to tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, I'm a husband, a father, a retired software architect a son, a brother, servant leader, friend, neighbor, blogger, and if you don't know what that is, you can find a 10-year-old and ask them about that. Uh, amateur photographer, and many more things that happens to be living with younger onset Alzheimer's disease. I am more than my diagnosis. I was diagnosed in 2016 at the age of 51, and within days of my diagnosis, I reached out to the Alzheimer's Association and began to create awareness and advocate for those who are living with Alzheimer's and our caregivers. The Alzheimer's Association has provided me and my family with the skills and tools to navigate our journey and has given me many opportunities to use my voice for advocacy and awareness. I am very grateful to the Alzheimer's Association for helping me to continue to live a purposeful life of servant leadership. The association would not have been able to do this for me without your support. It's been a rough few years it took almost a year and a half to get an accurate diagnosis in 2016. They tested me for a variety of neurological diseases. This, unfortunately, is all too common and must change. My cognitive ability has declined. Multitasking is a challenge. Memory recall issues are persistent, along with other symptoms that are commonly known to neurodegenerative diseases. A month before I was diagnosed, my mom and dad moved in with us so we could care for my dad who was also living with Alzheimer's. I helped my mom care for my dad daily. It's surreal, as you might imagine. A son living with Alzheimer's caring for his father living with Alzheimer's. My wife and I have discussed how it's really interesting that I look at my father and sometimes I envision myself looking in the mirror in a couple of years. And um, that is uh, not something a man of 54 years old or a woman of 52 years old should have to do. As a person living with this disease, I want to say to my families, to the families and caregivers, that I acknowledge your loss, your grief, and the struggles that you've endured. Your endurance is pure, sacrificial love. To my friends living with Alzheimer's and other forms of dementia, I am here today for you. It is my honor to add my voice to yours for awareness and advocacy. Over the last few years, I've been witness to what I can only describe as a purple wave of awareness and advocacy that is changing the tide of legislation and funding for Alzheimer's research. 
If you follow the news and social media, you will see the direct impact you are having. However, we must never, ever rest on what we've accomplished or what we'll do today to fight, end Alzheimer, to fight to end Alzheimer's. The Alzheimer's tsunami is real. Everyone with a brain is at risk. We must work, we must continue to work relentlessly every day with great passion to eradicate this relentless disease. One extremely important way we'll get to the end of Alzheimer's is through clinical trials. I am a, par a participant in the Biogen Aducanumab clinical trial right here in Toms River, New Jersey, south of here, at the Advanced Memory Research Institute. Aducanumab is in its third phase and we are very hopeful. We will never find a cure to Alzheimer's without clinical trials. Those of us that are here today living with Alzheimer's and are willing and able, you could help. I would be very happy to speak to you about the clinical trial process. I'll be at the clinical trial center this Monday for my 25th, I'm sorry, my 29th infusion. I've heard it said that any one of the persons participating in a clinical trial today could very well be the first survivor of Alzheimer's. <laughs> Folks, coconut oil is not a cure for Alzheimer's. But with that said, a healthy heart diet and exercise lifestyle is a healthy brain lifestyle that is extremely important. I've been participating in the walk to end Alzheimer's for three years now, and many more of you, I'm sure, for many, many years. We look forward to the walk season, building our team and spending time with our family and friends for a cause we all believe in. Standing with our loved ones, living with the disease, and memory of the ones that we've lost. Memory, many of you have traded the orange and yellow for purple flowers. We do this with the hopeful anticipation by our combined effort that someday we will have someone who was previously diagnosed with Alzheimer's be the first survivor and raise that white flower. Until then, let us continue to labor with love to raise awareness, advocate, and fight the good fight to end Alzheimer's. Thank you.